Hi, my name's Jim Crocker, celebrity chef, and I'm going to be showing you how to make affordable meals at affordable prices. For my first meal, what you're going to need is a tin of what I like to call baked beans. Now, if you can't find baked beans, not to worry, because you can always use, you know, spaghetti hoops or any, any kind of tin spaghetti in tomato sauce. Oh, I need a pen. Um, which one? Anyone. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'll use that one. That's fine. Yeah, cheers, mate. Now, I'm opening the tin very carefully. Careful not to cut yourselves, guys. Scoop out the contents of the tin into the pan. Oh, there we go. That looks great, doesn't it, guys? Lovely. Now, kids, if you're watching at home, this is the point where you're going to want to get a parent involved. Because we're working with fire here, and fire is no laughing matter. So, um, how do I turn this on? Jake. Hi, Jake. Say hello to the camera. I'm Jake. Oh, it's a bit hot. Yeah, it's better. Right, next what you're going to want is some bread. You can really use any kind of bread. But I'm today going to be using some Warburton's Seeded Five Seeds. I'm going to take out two slices of the bread. And I'm just going to pop them straight in the toaster. One and two. And pop it down like that. Now comes the waiting point. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you got any spoons, mate? Yeah, left yeah. raw. Now, whilst you're waiting for the toast to cook, you can keep an eye on your beans. Give them a little stir every now and then, you know, just to make sure they don't burn, because that's the last thing you want. Burnt beans, no thanks. I'm going to turn it up a little bit, because I don't like waiting. And what's great about beans is you can just, you know, there's, there's really no wrong way to do them. You can just, you just put them in the pan and you cook it. I'm just going to go check on the toast now and see if it's done. Oh, it's burnt. But not to worry. Because in a situation like this, what you've got to do is grab hold of a bottle of tomato ketchup. And really you just want to sort of smother it all over. You know? It'll disguise the taste perfectly. And you won't have to worry about that horrible burnt taste in your mouth. Now I'm going to go check on the beans. The final ingredient. Oh no. <laughs> The beans are a little bit overdone, but it's not an issue because um, you can still like scoop off some of these ones on top and, you know, a little bit of burnt beans. It's not the end of the world, do you know what I mean? I'm going to spoon those on top of the, of the toast with the ketchup and hey presto, a delicious Sunday lunch. Thanks, I've been Jim Crocker. See you around.